All right, guys. Awesome. So let's jump into it. We're going to open up Creative Studio. We're going to click on products. Uh, today, I am working with an 8.5 by 11 sheet located right here at the bottom. You're going to click that. Um, I like to use the horizontal with grids in inches uh, feature. I already took the liberty of uploading the picture that we are going to use. So we're going to go up to images. If you didn't upload the picture that you want to use, simply head over to the upload button right here. You know, name it, add your file, click the rights button and upload. Super simple. But since I uploaded it already, we're going to find it. And here it is. Awesome. So I actually scaled this image to size already prior to uh, bringing it into Creative Studio. Um, there's a few things that I want to point out to you guys that's pretty important. So you, if you look along the edges, right, it looks super pixelated. Um, Creative Studio, the older version like I'm using, um, doesn't give you high high definition, I guess you can call it, right? Or HD look. Um, but even if your picture isn't 100% crisp along the edges, remember you're making the image slightly larger than the mask is going to be. So that way you can make sure that you have full coverage, um, you know, 365 degrees around the mask. So once you have it to scale it, you could simply take one of the corners and pull it up or down as needed, right? Up by where it says products, you'll see the size. So right now this is about nine and a half inches, 9.52 by 5.51, right? We can make it as big or as small as we want. Um, some people had asked me if you could do multiple pictures to a sheet. You can. So. You, if you could fit your image, let's say sideways, which in this case I can't, right? You could head over to objects and duplicate it and then fit two on a, on a page or 10 or whatever. It all depends on the size of the image that you're working with. I'll head back to objects and just delete this one we will rotate this again. Perfect, just make sure we have it straight. It is. Let's scale it to the size we need, which is about five and a half. Great, awesome. Once it's in position, you're gonna head up to print in the upper right corner, hit print, name it. In this case, I'll use green masks, the number that you wanna do and hit Okay. Perfect. Now that it's saved, you're going to click OK to print. It's going to open it down here. Uh, Creative Studio does launch um, the print manager right away. So what you're going to do is you're going to just head over and hit that print button. I printed a few in advance, so I'm not going to print it. But I do want to ask you guys for one quick favor. If you haven't had a chance yet, head over to the YouTube channel, Vlad K, and please subscribe. The goal is to post one to two videos a week. Um, every Monday I'll be posting a Motivational Monday uh, type of vlog that's just a few minutes long. Um, and then... In the second half of the week, I'm going to be either posting a how-to video, a product review, or an interview with someone special in the print industry. Silky Socks, this one's for you guys. So, by the way, guys, let me know in the comments if you want me to head over to Silky Socks and uh, do maybe an interview and walk through with them. Um... Love to see what the feedback would be. So let me know in the comments. For now, we're going to jump off the computer. We have our printouts. 
let's jump into making them. See you guys in a minute. Um, I am working on a few face mask orders today. So I'm just going to, yeah, we have a bunch of stuff we got to do today. But this is one of them. This one's going to be an easy one because it's just on a white mask. Um, this is going to be a super fun print. Hold on, let me show you guys. Hopefully you guys can see this. That is a set of teeth inside of what looks to be like a handbag and we're actually going to do it on this green um mask from silky socks uh this is the green backing this has the filter pocket um white polyester uh spandex front uh if i'm not mistaken it's 84 or 85 percent polyester and the remaining uh 15 or 16% um, is going to be spandex. So that way you get the nice stretch. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're back. This is our transfer. This is our mask. Just like I showed you guys in previous videos, uh, you can zoom in a little so they can see this. You're going to take the mask and place it over your transfer. Uh, Evan, come up nice and close so they can see what I'm doing. You want to make sure that all the areas of the mask are covered and lined up the way you want it. You're going to grab some heat tape, throw a piece of heat tape at the top. Perfect. Throw another one at the bottom. You're going to flip the mask. These don't have to be tucked in. I like to tuck them. Light to medium pressure, I think works for me the best. Um, on this machine, I'm at like a four. Uh, some people say medium to heavy pressure. I guess it really depends on your press. Um, it's gonna take some trial and error, but 35 seconds, 400 degrees, I think for me has been the sweet spot. So we're gonna press. Also guys, if your press pops open automatically, um, I would be careful because sometimes um, you can get some ghosting. So I try to just hold on to the press and make sure it doesn't open. Perfect, so it's hot. One swift motion, take the mask off. Very cool. What do you guys think? That's a pretty funky design. I'm gonna let this thing cool off for a second before I put it down on my face. But, put it down, put it on my face. I don't know what the hell I'm saying today. But, this is it, awesome. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below what you think. I think it's a really cool print. So if you guys liked it as much as I did, uh, please hit that like button and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this design, if it was easy enough to do. I really wanna know what your experience is with making masks, or if you haven't made a mask uh, and you wanna try it after seeing this video, please let me know how it turned out. I would love to answer any questions that you may have. Hope to see you guys soon. Peace.